Hi, it's Deborah. Welcome back to the Deborah Peters Show. Today's episode is all about productivity, how to increase your productivity to get the maximum amount done with the least amount of time and to enjoy the process. So you've been watching my show for a while and you know that I'm always talking about mindset and I'm always talking about cultivating a relationship with yourself <laughs> and I'm always constantly telling you to meditate. And if you haven't watched me before, welcome to my channel. I have a lot of passion for helping people become successful and it's it's not just in their business it's in your entire being your health your happiness your relationships your mindset your business growth your profitability your abundance i have a great passion for this and so this channel is full of all sorts of ideas, notions, tools, techniques that you can use to up-level your life in, in every area. And today is all about productivity because I like to have the path of least resistance where things flow, my work flows, my life flows in such a way that when something comes along that might be considered a challenge or or a difficult decision or something that's hard to deal with then i have this foundation i have this baseline to function from and these are tools that i teach to all of my clients and they've enabled my clients to have richer fuller more meaningful lives as well as to generate just tons of money. I've, I've made a lot of millionaires <laughs> through my processes. And so I want to share these tools with you. So most importantly, it's, it's about, it's about state management. So productivity, being productive, getting, you know, milking every moment for everything it's got and making it completely serve you really is about state management. So whatever state you're in is going to determine your capacity for totally maximizing any given moment. State being your mental state and your emotional state. Now the cool thing is Regardless what's going on for you, you can change your state just like that in a heartbeat. We all have that capacity. It just means that you need to learn some tools to actually manage your mind your way, manage your emotions your way. And so I'm going to share with you what I teach all my clients and the tools that I use myself because I'm a very highly passionate person and I get really thrilled and connected to things, to, to ideas, to, to outcomes, to goals. I get very passionate. You know, I live in a very, I live a life of passion and you know it's uh, to me it's i couldn't have it any other way i couldn't imagine just kind of ho hum going through life i'm just not wired that way so if you're wired that way and you want to have more passion in your life then stick with me and watch my channel if you're a really super passionate person and you want to learn to to channel that passion in a more productive way then you've come to the right youtube channel so number one is you can manage your mental and emotional state in just a heartbeat. It's as simple as making a decision that you want to feel differently and then finding some kind of a mechanism that will enable you to feel differently. So for example, if you're sitting tall or you're standing tall and your shoulders are back and your chin is slightly up, you cannot help but feel good. 
it's really difficult to feel down or 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 sad or or have a negative thing going on in your mind, a negative train of thought if you're really in a what we call a state of excellence. So use that state of excellence in everything you do. I like to have all of my team put mirrors on their walls in their office. I have quite a few in mine. And that way, it's like a self-accountability, especially when you're talking on the phone to clients or, or a prospect, or you're doing a sales call, or you have a team meeting, and you, you need to be resourceful and come to the table with ideas. Get into a state of excellence before you engage and then keep your body language in check. The largest portion of our communication is nonverbal, which basically means our body language says everything about us. It says how we think, it says how we're feeling in the moment. So get your body language lined up, get into a state of excellence. Now here's another tool. I have visual, as you can see by my vision board on the back of my, uh, on the, on my closet door behind me, I have visual stimuli around me that increase my state of excellence. They increase my happiness. They, they, it brings me joy. So the way I have my desk and my office set up, I have windows in front of me. I can see the clouds. I can see the mountains. I love nature. Now, not everybody loves nature. So if that's not your thing, then have in front of you, whatever your thing is. So I love nature. I have a I have a big thing about being outdoors. I spend a great deal of time outdoors every weekend and as much as I can during the week. So create an environment that supports you. And so when I look outside and I see the clouds, I immediately go into a place of appreciation about how lucky and blessed I am to be alive and to be able to look at the clouds and, and just have the simplicity of a blue sky or, or some clouds in front of me that are, you know, it's free. I mean, you can look up any moment and there it is, right? So that level of appreciation, it doesn't have to be a material thing. And that's what I mean by free. Next is move your body. So whatever that means for you. Now, when I get up in the morning, part of my morning routine is I stretch for about 15 minutes. Sometimes I get up early enough and I go for a walk. But if, if I'm on calls to say other continents that we have different time zones, and it would mean going at four in the morning, which I'm not really crazy about, then I will get up in the morning and I'll stretch, especially in the winter when it's dark and it's kind of cold outside, don't really want to go out quite yet. Then get up in the morning and do some stretches. And while I'm doing my stretches, I'm actually speaking out loud my intention for my day. I'm talking out loud to myself and I'm saying positive affirmations. I'm thanking you know, my, my inner being for, for the light in my heart, for being alive, for being on the planet. It's part of my spiritual practice and it's something that I do every single day. Now, once I'm working throughout the day, I make a point of going for a walk every day at lunch. So this is really important. Move your body, do, do things that uh, increase your blood flow, your oxygen flow, just get, get some movement to your body. Take a break every 90 minutes. Get up from your desk, walk away, go have a glass of water, go, go look out the window or go outside or whatever you need to do, just take 10 minutes. Your productivity raises 
so much more when you take these little micro breaks and then you're not waiting until you're starving and, you, and then you have to eat and you know you're in a different frame of mind at that point because your blood sugar starts to drop next is time blocking i find for me that time blocking is really useful because it keeps me on purpose now not everyone works well with time blocking and there are some days that i don't work well with time blocking at all so you know it's not a hundred percent it's not going to be like you have to rigidly you know schedule out like every single moment of your day i'm not talking about that but do have some chunks of time that are dedicated to for instance i have chunks of time that are dedicated to recording my my videos I have chunks of time that are dedicated to returning emails. I have chunks of time that are dedicated to engaging with social media. If you don't, otherwise it'll run away with you. And pretty soon the day will be gone and you'll be wondering, you know, I, I didn't do what I set out to do today. Which brings me to my last and final point. And that is make sure you write down at the beginning of the day how you want your day to turn out. I do this every single morning. I write down my targets. I write down my gratitude list. I write down the, the big person or thing I want to connect with that day. I write down my 12 week goals. And yes, yeah, some of this a lot of this stuff is repetitive, you know, you're going to might write the same thing day after day, but I write it in a different way because I know that every time I write something down, I'm firing more neurons than not writing it down. I'm building neural pathways around goals and outcomes and experiences that I would like to have in my life. And I'm also setting the tone for my energy for the day. So that raises my productivity. Then I'm able to walk into that day. I have a mission, I have a plan, I have a clear visual. And then I connect the states that are necessary to bring all of that to fruition. So if i'm going through something in my personal life and we all are all the time you know everybody's going through something i don't care who you are nobody is immune to growth so we're all going through something so if i'm going through something in my personal life that is challenging me maybe on an emotional scale then i might set a time aside for later to feel that sadness or to to feel that loneliness or to feel that loss or to feel that disappointment or whatever the emotion is i'll set side time aside for later to do that what's interesting is when that time shows up later i really don't feel like feeling sad or feeling disappointed or or whatever because it's past so as you're setting the tone for your day and your goals and the calls and the emails and the meetings also set the emotional states that you will allow and enable to flow through you and the mental states that you'll connect to that support the end goal of your day are you looking to make a certain number of sales then you need to have a connection to a high vibrational energy and so writing that down and it doesn't have to be involved i mean it's like a simple like my book is is very very small so you can just lay that out in advance set the tone manage your mental and emotional state take little breaks have it in front of you review it throughout the day every time i take a little break i go to my plan for the day and i look at how i'm tracking i mean you know right in your heart if you're on purpose or not but sometimes these negative thoughts or limiting beliefs fly through our minds 
and they trigger feelings in our bodies and we can start to feel like we're a little bit stuck in something negative. And I find the minute I go and I look at what I've written down and what I've committed to for the day, it's like, snap out of it, right? So then it, it just changes. It's a great state management tool, little reminders, especially if you're working alone and you don't actually have people around you, or especially if you're working with people and people have their own energy happening, flinging all over the place if they're frustrated or if they're negative or if, you know, whatever's going on. So it's all about just cultivating your own space, your own self-awareness, and you will become absolutely unstoppable. You'll become one of the most productive people in your business. And I promise you, you will see your entire business change. You'll see your entire team around you respond to you differently. Because we all wanna be around people that are successful, that are happy, that are productive. You see them getting lots done and it's really inspiring and it elevates the enthusiasm in your organization. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are joining me from social media, because I do a lot of shares on social media, please subscribe. It helps me immensely. And feel free to comment and let me know what topics you would like me to cover. So thank you. Ciao. Have a blessed day. Go kick some butt today. And I will talk with you tomorrow.